Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Praveen Bala. Today we will see about uh, the traditional rice kaatiyanam. Hope all of you are doing good. Okay, let's talk about kaatiyanam. This kaatiyanam variety is of Indian origin, and this variety has been for, for almost forgotten by most of the farmers. The reason being the duration of the crop, which is 180 days. The yield is also very nominal. To say this variety give the real bone strength to our forefathers. Mean this variety is specially nutrient enough to strengthen your bones. Okay, in this video, we will look into the cultivation methods of this variety and advantages of it over the hybrid ones. In this example, I will talk about the real method that I used to cultivate this variety. We had used around 7 kg of seeds per acre, and these seeds were soaked in soaked under water using a gunny bag that is a jute bag after 24 hours this bag was kept outside in the air yes it remains in the jute bag so that the seeds can start to germinate and after 48 hours that is 24 hours under water and 24 hours in the external air after 48 hours the seeds were shown on the paddy bed the paddy beds were prepared like for any other varieties that is the land were plogged well watered enough and it's allowed to settle after that the seeds were sown in a closer manner once the seeds are showed in the paddy bed the bed has to be maintained with no or minimal water for next three to four days the reason being the seeds should get enough sunlight and to germinate extra hard cat has to be taken to ensure rain or any birds should not disturb our seeds after fourth day, we can maintain minimal water, I would say about one or two inches above the sea level. In about 20 days, the seeds grow faster to a length of about 25 to 30 centimeter long. In our case, some of our paddy beds were disturbed by rabbit bites, so it's okay. We got enough uh, plants to be replanted. Now the fields were kept ready. By plugging with the tractor or by any other means. We had planted using a spacing of around 1 feet to 1 to 1.25 feet. This interval is not a constant one, it varies to the soil nature. In general, more spacing required for longer duration crops than the shorter ones. Also, note in our case, we trimmed the seedling bed plants to ensure the replanted ones are not fallen to the ground due to excess height and weight. In about 50 days, each planted paddy has about 15 shoots emerged from the bottom and by 80, 80 days, we can see that almost all shoots are emerged like 40 to 50 shoots in each planted node. From 103 onwards, the shoots start to develop the grains which were and the plants were about 5 to 5.5 feet height with no fertilizer applied. In our case, we haven't applied any chemical or natural fertilizer. And from one tenth day onwards, the grains are visible outside. Ranges. The reason being, these are the times where the grains will start to develop in aggressive manner. So enough water has to be, watering has to be done to the fields. So we maintain well water during the 120 to 140 days interval. By about 140th day, the grains were fully milked enough to gain weight. From 150th day onwards, we started to dry our fields so that the milked grains start to mature. How to identify whether it is matured or not? To that these changes can be visible outside as the as color of the paddy seeds tend to change to light brown, whereas the inside, inside rice changes from milky white to dark brown and the rice also gets hardened. And by 160th weight, it's time for harvest. Yes, for us also, it gave us a smile. By 165th day, we started to harvest. In our case, we harvested using manual method for some portion of the land so that the seeds can be used for sowing by next year. Whereas the remaining portion are harvested using machinery. Overall, we are very satisfied with this cultivation. Reason being, we haven't used any fertilizer nor any insecticides. This gives us a confidence the, about this variety, which is to add further, this variety is very suitable for organic farming as no chemical fertilizers or insecticides is needed. 
and I encourage each one of you can try this in your land form fields as it is easily manageable drop. I can add a few of the real voice of my field. Hope you will enjoy it. Please subscribe my channel for another topic. We'll catch you soon. Thank you.